Hi, this is Abhay. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss what is the best way to self-host an attend with free resources available and what is the best method you should choose. So on my channel, I have made two videos dedicated to Oracle Cloud with two different methods how to self-host an attend. And there is one method by which you can self-host on Google Cloud too. I'll discuss in the later part of this video. So we'll compare each and every cloud provider's free tier and what is the best method and what is the best way to go about it. So let's discuss about Oracle's free tier now. So Oracle offers a free tier uh, on their hosting plan and the free tier limit is very generous. So if you go to oracle.com slash cloud slash free and uh, click on compute here, so you'll get always around two AMD compute instances and as well as uh, ARM compute instance available there. So the ARM compute instance is very powerful that Oracle offers that offers up to 24 GB of RAM as well as uh, four cores or six cores of um, CPU. And that is actually very generous limit. And if you look for storage limit too, so uh, the storage they available, I think around 200 GB of block volume storage. So that is attack attached to your uh, particular web server. So by which you can store your workflows of Anatel. So uh, these are actually very generous limit. If we check for Google Cloud, so the Google Cloud's limit for Compute Engine is one E2 micro VM instance in uh, following US regions. These three US regions, you can create an instance and you can use it for lifetime free. Also, uh, it should have 30 GB of standard persistent disk. That means 30 GB of storage of for your internet and workflows or databases by which you can create any database. And 1 GB of outbound data transfer from North, North America to all regions, excluding China and Australia per month. So this particular thing, 1 GB of outbound data transfer, that is particularly very low uh, in this case. However, for your internet and workflows, if you have a, a less load and if you are just trying out for testing, you can uh, try this too. However, in my opinion, what method you should take? Now I have created a detailed chart and where you can uh, get which is the best method and um, which you should choose. So for Oracle Cloud, I have mentioned two methods by which there is one Nginx plus certbot method and that is one Portainer plus NPM method. So in this particular method, the main difference, core difference is you have a GeoFM management. For example, you have a server where you, you want to not just to install Anytel, but want to install any other web applications or open source applications. So by this method, managing the web applications, multiple applications gets easy. Uh, if you follow the portainer as well as npm method but for the portainer and npm method it takes more resources because we have to install portainer as is npm via docker containers so it takes large amount of space and it uh, charges um, multiple resources on your account but instead if you uh, follow the nginx plus cert bot method it's very lightweight uh, and even if you are uh, using a compute for amd you can try the nginx plus cert bot method but if you are going for Oracle ARM compute instances, then you can try the um, uh, Portainer plus NPM method. However, the Portainer plus NPM method also works on AMD and I have tried these, but I'm not, I'll not actually recommend to go with that. And if you are using AMD compute instance, I'll only recommend to go with the assert bot method and the Nginx method because this method is optimized for the low resource consumption. So uh, if you have having the ARM compute instance, then I'll certainly recommend you can go ahead and test out the Portainer and NPM method and that will work flawlessly uh, with your Oracle Cloud. Coming to the Google Cloud, Google Cloud offers very less resources. So Nginx plus third bot method is the method to go uh, for Google Cloud. But for Oracle, as I mentioned, you can try uh, both the methods uh, with both the servers. You get any server as per the availability and uh, once your accounts get set up. And I think this is one of the best uh, way to self host an attend with the free resources available. Now in this next part of this video, I'll explain how to set up a Google Cloud free server and then um, install an attend using Nginx plus third bot. I'll not actually install in this setup because I have already covered that part in the Oracle Cloud's Nginx plus third bot method. So you can visit my description and view that particular part of the video from where you can uh, go ahead and install that. So for Google Cloud, uh, you have to come to cloud.google.com and get started with free slash free and this by which you can click for get started for free and you will have a authorization on your credit card and you will have some basic details uh, so that you, your accounts get validated. If you are within the free tier limits, you will not get charged. So don't worry about that. So the free tier limits are uh, listed on the Google Cloud Docs. I'll put this link in the description and for compute engines, as I mentioned, these are the uh, specific stats. So make sure you are within those stats. Uh, you do not cross it. So you'll not get charged for this particular uh, uh, Google Cloud Compute Engine. So now let's go and create an instance in Google Cloud. Uh, you'll have to go to console.cloud.com. If any project is not created for you, you can click create a project or it will be automatically created for you. Then you have to click on create a VM from product. 
and if you are for the first time there will be a pop up to enable apis you just have to hit the limit that enable apis now uh, you will have a machine configurations i'll type n in you can type anything now i'll go back to the uh, document where all of the things are listed you have to select any one region from here i'll select us west one from here okay so this is the us west one region i'll select the region you can select zone as any it will not uh, cause any issues then you will have to select as e2 and in e2 you have to make sure that you do not select medium you have to go here and select micro so once you select micro you have to go to os and storage here go and change from debian you can select ubuntu installed you can choose the debian 2 however i recommend ubuntu and in ubuntu you have to type 22.04 and here the 22.04 x86 amd64 uh, LTS. This is a stable version. You can try multiple versions too, but uh, I recommend this too. And here you have to make sure that from balanced persistent disk, you have to ch choose the standard persistent disk because that's what mentioned in this article. 30 GB of standard persistent disk and I'll type here as 30 GB. So your instance will have 30 GB of storage. In the data protection, you don't have to select anything. In the networking tab, you'll have to allow HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic, as well as allow load balancer health checks. And once these three are done, you can see that this monthly estimate is $7.31. However, you are within those particular free tier limits, so you'll not get charged. If you get charged, you'll uh, get those as reversed. So don't worry about that. And then you have to hit on create. Since the VM has been uh, created, you will have an internal IP and external IP here, and you can connect to it via SSH. So as I mentioned in the Oracle tutorials, if you have watched it, so you will have to download the SSH keys and from SSH keys, you will have to connect to the server. However, Google Cloud offers an uh, cloud-based SSH connect instance. So here you will have to only click on this SSH button. Once you click on this SSH button, a pop-up will appear. It will set SSH in browser and it will transfer the SSH keys to the VM. You will have to authorize from your account here. You will have a small authorization window. Done. You are already inside your server. So this is the same SSH window by which uh, using Oracle, you have to use either putty for Windows or terminal for Mac, but this is a in-browser terminal. You can uh, do uh, and you can install it in with any method uh, from going from, from here. So if you want to follow the complete steps, step-by-step uh, -step guide, you can check the video in the description for Oracle, but this this will work for here too. So the process for installing an attend from SSH window, it's same uh, for all of the servers, any Ubuntu server you choose from. So you can just uh, install an attend and let me know the feedback if it is working for you or not. So I'll just close this uh, for here because I don't need it now. And now to have a bottom line of this video. So if you are uh, getting Oracle Cloud for free and if your account is approved, then uh, if you're getting ARM uh, processes because within some regions, ARM processes are not available. So make sure if your region has ARM processes available, I'll certainly recommend to create an ARM processor with uh, whatever RAM you choose, but it should be higher than one gigabyte or uh, uh, it should be higher than processor limit should be higher than one cores of CPU. So uh, I'll recommend to go to Oracle and get the highest level of possible 24 GB of RAM and four cores of uh, processors and create a ARM processor and then install uh, an attend via port and NPM method. However, if your region doesn't allow that particular thing, so you can go uh, and create an AMD compute instance. Uh, as I mentioned, the previous generation specialty instance in the video, you can follow the steps along with it and you can install this particular method. And the whole guide is available in the description along with the video. And for Google Cloud, as I mentioned just now, uh, so if you are not getting any Oracle account, if you're having issues creating an Oracle account, if you don't have an actual working international credit card, then you can uh, follow the Google Cloud method. However, Google Cloud will also um, charge from your credit card. However, it also has some regional based payment methods so that Google Cloud has. So if your Oracle account is having some issues in setup, so you can try Google Cloud with Nginx and CertBot method. Again, uh, you can follow the same Oracle Cloud Nginx plus CertBot method here too. And once that followed, you can, your NNN setup will be ready for you. And I think uh, this has been helpful for you. And if you have any suggestions, if you are having any issues in setting up your NAT and self hosting it with the free resources, do let me know in the comments or, the, or via the email. Uh, my both uh, social media channels as well as email are available in the description. So you can let me know about that. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.